It's been roughly about a year since I uploaded my Black Metal Iceberg chart video. And with all the traffic that that video still gets, I tend to go back to it to read all the new comments that pop up on it. But one noticeable outcome that has come from that video is all the traffic that now the Black Metal Project Emit has gotten from it. And it's just crazy to me seeing the numbers that it caps off with. I've known about this project for a handful of years, and I've always looked at it as kind of like this little gem of just legitimate audio nightmare that would get just very minimal traffic of just like maybe 300 to 500 views max. Now it's at like the tens of thousands of views and has like multiple thousand thumbs up on uh, its EP, The Dark Bleeding, and I would just never would have thought at any point in time this project would get this amount of traffic. And I figured I wanted to talk about it a little bit more because there's a lot to dissect uh, with Emit that I really didn't go over about a year ago when I placed it at like the bottom of the pit within the iceberg chart. Looking back at my description of what I said about Emit, uh, last year, I stated that I've only listened to it maybe once or twice and I felt like my brain was turning to mush. And what makes Emit just so terrifying and unsettling from all the other just noisy, raw, dissonant black metal projects and bands out there is that I feel like when it comes to discussing black metal, the words of harsh, raw and lo-fi are just something that you should kind of become accustomed to hearing when talking about this genre. But then there's the black metal projects that go to the next level and it's just super noisy, super, you know, underproduced to the point that you really even wonder if it's even black metal anymore and it just becomes like super harsh distorted noise. And Typically when you get projects like this, I feel like a lot of them rely on improvisation with their overall musical approach. Case in point, one project that perfectly comes to mind that is just improvisation from start to finish is the black metal project called N Belugagal, which I don't know why I didn't put that within the black metal iceberg uh, chart itself. But Envelugagal, as ridiculous as the name is of this project, it's like everything within its massive discography. It is just meant to throw shit at the wall, it's meant to be obnoxious and ridiculous, and the vocals are just screaming, there's no lyrics, it's legitimately just screaming. Um, the guitar riffs aren't really doing anything besides just adding more noise. The drumming is super sloppy blast beats with really no rhythm to it, and the noise itself is literally just to create noise. And there's a lot of projects very similar to that of Enbelugagal. Another one that I had within the Iceberg chart was, um, yeah, Semen <laughs> Drent Slave of the Devil. That, I mean, it has a little bit more rhythm, but again, the noise, the reverb, really fills up, you know, the space of all the ideas that they had. And it's just so many are like this that just rely on improvisation to give that, you know, animalistic and super obnoxious, distorted, harsh sound. Whereas Emit, it's always hit me differently every time I would listen to any of their, uh, his, I should say, releases, especially The Dark Bleeding. Because revisiting Emit's discography to gather my thoughts up for this video, what makes it just so disturbing for me is how everything comes off thought out. Whether it's the drone or the dark ambience or the noise that bleeds through the guitars and vocals, there is just something so discomforting about knowing that all of these just abnormal and abstract sounds for black metal was thought out because it just doesn't come off with like this kind of like thinking of improvisation how everything just bleeds together so well and that's what really makes it just so mesmerizing for me of a project to blend dark ambience drone and black metal in such a way that it truly gives me discomfort it truly makes me 
feel disturbed and unsettled in such a way that no other project can. Because, yeah, again, you will find other noisy, abstract projects within the realms of black metal that go for the improv sound, but it just comes off, you know, ridiculous in a way that's kind of cheapened in some sense. Whereas Emit, there's definitely a bit of thought put into this, which makes it just such a standout for me. Other little interesting facts about Emit is that it's been active since the late 90s. It's typically a one-man project that will have guest spots during certain releases, mainly done by Michael Morthwork, that has been with the project since day one. Now, he got a name change for in 2013 to Hammett. That Hammett is basically the same deal of Emit, only there really isn't any black metal, not like there was to begin with with Emit. But really, all the black metal elements is completely evaporated now. While all the experimental works of the drone and synth and dark ambience is still utilized, only it's a bit more fleshed out. It's not as harsh, but it's still as weird and abstract that you kind of come to expect that really the only thing I can compare it to that I know of is that it's a bit similar to that of a Black Mountain Transmitter which again is just other weird otherworldly types of synth and dark ambient work that just sounds like that of like trying to communicate with aliens. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely check out Hammett. And another bit of information that's quite controversial regarding Emit is that back in 2013, he did an interview for Death Metal Underground. And a majority of that interview, he talks about his future plans with Emit, which was around the time he changed it to Hammett. However, it is rumored that he has connections with this occultist group that being the Order of Nine Angles. Now, from what I've searched up, the Order of the Nine Angles is a, I guess you could call it, terrorist group that has beliefs of Nazism, the occult, and black magic. And some of their viewpoints are just cartoonish to a whole other level that it just sounds like fan fiction on acid. One of them that I searched up, and there's many that they believe in, but one of them is that they believe that uh, the Aryan true race will descend upon us from, like, a UFO from another world, is what they believe. Like, it's so fucking wild that it just comes off, like, again, cartoonish. But... Why Emit has any kind of connection with this group is a mystery to me, as the lyrical themes that Emit and Hammett have is all, again, with occultism and black magic. It has nothing to do with Nazism or race, so I, I don't know if it's because of clout. I don't know if it just, again, has solely to do with, like, the black magic and occultist viewpoints, but... It's just a mystery to me as to how and why he has connections with such a infamous group. Other than that, there's really not much information I can find about Emit other than if you were to take detours again to the Order of the Nine Angles. But how I look at it, Emit is a black metal project, if you want to call it that, that makes weird music for weird people that I know obviously I stated this within the black metal iceberg chart but if you want the most abstract and just discomforting sounding black metal project that the genre can allow I would point you in the direction of emit it's truly something different in the most unsettling of ways for the genre and, um, yeah, that's it for this video. So, like always, I'll leave links provided to the uh, projects I talked about in the description below. And, like always, guys, make sure you guys drink plenty of water to stay hydrated and have a great day.